Um, what I said was true. We, we, you know, we face so many, almost every team we played all year, everybody's kind of doing the same stuff where it's all ball screen, drive and kick, that kind of stuff. So we got to a pretty good at guarding that. But they, they're doing, they're doing real motion. And, um, you know, it's, you got, you got to know what you're doing with that. And the idea that you're going to have two days to prepare for that was probably going to be optimistic. So we just said, all right, we're going to zone. And it worked a lot of times. But we're not, we're not, we don't run enough zone. So we tried to just sort of mix them up and keep it all balanced. And it worked a little bit, but, but um, no, no, that's, you know, we don't even talk about Valentine, but that's, that's a long day now. That's a long day trying to chase him and he can really play. And they, they are very good. I mean, they're just really Coach, um, can you talk about maybe he went down earlier in the, <clears throat> earlier in the first half? What's, what's his injury in? He got kneed. I guess it was a knee, but his, when I went out there, it was sw there was a knot. It's like on his shin, but, you know, the meaty part of your shin. And it, uh, it there's a little there was a bubble on it, and I think it's quite a bit worse now. It's to the point where you know if you think about it, that that's the kind of thing that raises your toe, and he it just it was too painful. We couldn't get to where he was raising his toe, so you know that that hurts because and it's too bad for Reds too because I mean let me tell you he's been he's been really good all year and um, just kept his concentration and he's been a guy that's he's been really really steady. I'm I'm really proud of him. And uh, I hate the fact that that, that happened. Uh, I think he maybe tried to walk around back there, but it wasn't work. How much of an impact did that have on the game? The oh, I think it did because it hurt our depth. You know, I mean, we look at him. He's gonna fall asleep during the interview. <laughs> I mean, we wore him totally slick, and um, so it, it 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 hurt our depth a little bit. But they were good tonight. They were good tonight, and um, you know, I think. As, as much of an impact as anything is that, you know, we went up we went up to Oakland and we made a bunch of shots and, um, you know, that, that gets you some energy and you keep playing. We made shots in the first half of this one too, but we had, you know, Chris had was one for seven at the, in the first half and uh, had a bunch of shots that he normally makes. You know, if he makes those, now it's a two-point game, that kind of game. When you, get, when, you, when you get behind and you're late in the air, it's like, oh, man. Especially for us, because we don't just score lickety split. And so between the halftime score and then the way they started the second half, it was uh, it was going to be tough. But but no, I thought we yeah, we did we did fine. We did fine. They're, that's a good team. Uh, Dylan, what does it what does it mean to you to play your final game as a senior in front of the home crowd? Man, it was crazy because like they actually came out and supported us, and most of them stayed to the end. Like they meant a lot. You usually don't have that many people that do that. They showed us on at the end, and even when it was hard, like we didn't have any fans, but they still came out when we did something. Like, that nine-game winning streak, they supported us through that, and I respect them for that. Can you talk about the uh, your experience? I mean, you ended your career in this, but like in a postseason. I mean, it might not have been the term you wanted to be in, but still, I mean, can you talk about how, how, what that means to you? It means a lot because, like, even just getting here meant something to me because I was a walk on from the start, and like, I never expected none of this. Like, I always wanted to have them, but I never expected us to make it this far. And when we got the new players this year, like, they really brought some extra to the team. And I think it'll go even further next year because they put in that work. So getting here was just a start. And next year, I expect more from the team. Yeah, hey, guys, Dylan went from no one recruiting him and came here as a walk-on to a guy that I had never took out of the game ever. And I took him out when he was basically just dragged, when he scraped him up off the floor and dragged him out. And that's, I, I said it in front of all the guys, because I don't know that they even understood. They, you know, look at Dylan, they just figured he's a scholarship guy. He wasn't. He did it because of attitude and work. Simple as that. And that goes for basketball or anything else. He shows up and goes to work. He's, he's, he's great. He's been great. He'll continue to be great.